Hi guys, this video is a part of my video course on Swift Programming with Parse Practical Examples, which covers features like user sign up, sign in, sign out, email verification, password reset, and many other useful features. And now it has an entirely new section on sending and receiving push notifications, and all of it for the price of a cup of coffee. Please check out this course, it's absolutely worth it. The link to the course is in the description to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate Apple Development Push Services Certificate. And I will start by uh, going into my uh, Apple Deve Developers account. I have apple.com website opened now, and I'll change um, its address to developerapple.com. And um, when here on this page, I can click on a Member Center, and that will take me to a login page where I need to provide my developers a username and password. If you do not have developers account, you'll need to apply for one. So I will sign in. And um, from the dashboard of my member center, I will choose certificates, identifiers and profiles. And then I will click on certificates under iOS apps section. And I can begin uh, creating new certificates. Now, this account is absolutely empty. I registered a new account just to show you um, the entire process from the very beginning. I do not have any certificates created. I do not have any apps IDs created here, any devices registered. And we will do it from the very beginning as, as if uh, you have just registered your Apple developers account. Okay, so I will go under uh, the very first section called certificates, and I'll need to switch to a development. We're going to create developers um, uh, development push services certificate first. And when your app is ready for production, you can switch, uh, you can come back and um, create a new certificate for production. And you will need one, you will need a production certificate when you're um, testing for um, on, on devices when you're distributing your app to testers um, as an ad hoc or when you're submitting your app to the App Store. So I'll go to a development um, section and then I will uh, click on the plus button here and that will take me to um, the next page. Uh, here I'll need to ch choose uh, what type of uh, certificate I'm going to create and I'm going to choose Apple Push Notification Service Sandbox, this one. I click on it and scroll down and click on continue. Um, now it wants me to provide the app ID and because this account is completely empty, I do not have any app IDs registered yet. So I'll click on app on the button to register a new app ID. Uh, here I'll need to provide app ID description and uh, I will um, uh, type my uh, new photo app. And I'll scroll down to provide bundle identifier. And bundle identifier we take from, the, um, uh, from, from our project. And normally it is something like uh, the reverse name, of reverse domain name. So for example, if my domain is kargapolov.com, I'll start with com kargapolov and then dot and the name of my app. So I'll go to my um, Xcode now and I do not have an app created. So I'll quickly create a new single view application and I will call it photo app. Let me call it my photo app. Our language is Swift and here's the organization identifier. So our bundle ID will become app. Let's click on next, create. And um, to find bundle identifier, you can click on the projects uh, on the left side panel and then click on the targets and click on general. And the very first section here called identity, it will have your bundle identifier. So you want to copy that or um, I mean, I mean, you can copy your comp domain and uh, you won't be able to copy the app, but you can type it in. So it's called my photo app. I'll switch back to browser com kargapolov my photo app. The bundle ID here on the Apple uh, page and the bundle ID in your project, they must match. 
Okay, so bundle ID is created. And um, uh, when you scroll down to Apple service, app services, we need to find push notifications and we need to enable that. We need to check it, push notifications, and then click on continue. Okay, now we're almost done with our app. It, um, it wants us to confirm that the app ID is correct. The description of my app is my new photo app and it will be this will be the unique identifier of my app and it shows that uh, push notifications are enabled but they are still in um, the process they're configurable we will need to complete this process i click on submit and it says registration complete done so now if i go into my identifiers app ids i'll see um, one app listed here Okay, so I have my app ID. Let's go back to a certificates development and then um, begin this process again. So I'll click on add new certificate. What type of certificate do you need? I need Apple push notification services development sandbox. I'll click on continue and it says select an app ID uh, for your push uh, certificate. And there's only one app ID that I have. So I'll select my app ID and I click on continue. Now I need to provide Apple with the uh, certificate signing request file. Uh, you can read this uh, through, uh, but uh, I will go ahead and do that. So to generate a new um, certificate uh, request, uh, we will go to um, a Keychain, Keychain Access application on our Mac computer, and we will go to Keychain Access and from keychain access we will go to certificate assistant and from certificate assistant we will choose request a certificate from a certificate authority here we will need to fill in the required fields like a uh, common name and email address so i'll provide my email address my name and um, required field which is also email address and I will choose save to disk. Continue. And I will change I will save this certificate signing request on my desktop. Done. Now I will go back to my uh, Apple developers account browser and I will click on continue button. Here I will need to upload the certificate signing request. I've saved it uh, to my desktop and click on generate button now my certificate is ready i will need to uh, tap on download button to download it to my computer and uh, i will go to downloads folder and click on the certificate file that will open certificate file and it will add it to my keychain application now i will need to find it under my certificates section and under my certificates category i'll need to find apple development ios push services um, certificate which has the bundle identifier of our application so my bundle identifier was a uh, com cargo pull of my photo app apple development push services so I will uh, click on this, uh, I will do right mouse click on this um, uh, certificate and I need to export it uh, to my computer again. I'll choose export and I'll store it on my desktop as well. I'll give it a name, my, my photo app certificate. And that's going to be a P12 file. Uh, when you are asked to enter password, which will be used to protect the exported items, uh, do not provide any password. Leave it blank and click on OK. The next step is to provide our admin password on our computer. And here I will provide my password, my admin password on my Mac machine. And I'll click on uh, Allow. And that will uh, save the certificate um, P12 file on my computer and I'm ready to continue.